It's mailroom time, and uh, not a typical mailroom at all, if typical mailrooms even exist. But the thing that I want to mention first is I have received in the mail CDs from someone who plays the same archaic type of music that I've been in love with since I was 17. Bo Samples sent me two CDs recorded by, I think, his band. I'm pretty close to that. Mostly young guys, which was what the band I played with was entirely young teenage guys. Only their band is called the Fat Babies. This is a solid gasa, and this is just Fat Babies uptown. And for those of you who don't know, thank you, Bo. By the way, thank you. I'm anxious to cut these things open and listen to how hard you guys drive. Traditional jazz, also known as Dixieland jazz, is one of two contrapuntal music styles and the only polyphonous improvisational contrapuntal music style with Bach being one, point and counterpoint, and traditional jazz, Dixieland jazz, with the players on the front line alternating and um, speaking back and forth to each other in an improvised passage. It's awesome. And so I thank you very much, Bo. I'm anxious to hear the way you guys swing. So I've got here five, five awesome communications that I'm gonna kinda of try to boil down without doing a disservice. And the first is from Neil Mansfield, a Navy CB 40 or 45 year metal fabricating multi-generational family legacy inheriting guy who went up on the 50th floor of a skyscraper that his dad was assembling when he was 10 years old. Think about that for a 10 year old. Thanks, man, and there's some great pictures in here we'll share with you of the real work that, that Neil does, a lot of which is in a trade school where he's one of the main, the main, uh, main guys. Logan Walker with support, real support, thank you for that, and a question about how a guy who's pursuing a PhD can pick up a hay button anvil and smooth up a face that's been abused. We're gonna talk about that. We've got a nice contribution from Nathan and Violet Howard, which we appreciate. We have here a note, remember Chris Beanie, the young man on the east coast of Canada that we sent an anvil to, his grandpa wrote to us, and a fellow named Andrew, and I'm sorry Andrew, can't read your last name from San Diego, fascinating fellow, makes the excellent point that people don't have to agree about everything to agree on the big things. And he is a very perceptive viewer of the channel and I appreciate the fact that we could talk and enjoy a conversation on any topic, even if we did not see everything exactly eye to eye. It's something I will never be done marveling at, that I get a chance to meet people, share acquaintance in a real way, even though I may never meet them. So thank you one and all for reaching out and for your contribution to what we have going here in whatever way you make it. I appreciate it so much. I think you're about to you're about to enter a world of pain, is what I think. <laughs> I'm about to enter a world of pain. <laughs> so Irwin, bless our little blue and gold heart, sent me their latest, greatest version of Speedbore Bits. Now, Speedbore Bits have been around a long time, and Irwin recently came out with this crazy adaptation with a three-flute drill bit configuration that drills so fast and is so aggressive that it sucks the power right out of a cordless drill. You gotta have a real muscular drill to do it, and they really make a hole. And now these, these are just a, a, a subtly re-engineered and re-machined variation on their traditional theme. I'm anxious to try them out. I'll let you know after I've used them a little bit about how they compare. And let me just say this, the plastic box is nifty. The latches are nifty and intuitive, and I hope it lasts longer than most plastic boxes last in the tool tank but it's a nice set, so thanks very much. We were contacted by a fellow named Ronnie Nichols. Now Ronnie is a maker of the first order. The list of things that the guy makes includes musical instruments, makes and repairs acoustical musical instruments. He makes bluegrass music, he plays banjo and guitar. He's developed and made an instrument he calls a walloon. He makes these threaded curly maple pick boxes, which are going to be put to work for that exact purpose at my house and at Nate's house. And he makes coin jewelry. And he was talking to my bride, Kelly, and comparing notes on sizes. And so he sent these beautiful rings in these beautiful boxes for Kelly and I and Nate and Allie. And Ronnie, I would love to meet you. You are one of those rare individuals who can take 
a wide, a large number of things and take them to a high degree of finish and practicality. And besides that, you're generous. Ronnie has a really neat website. He's uploaded a lot of YouTube content. He plays and records bluegrass music, which you're gonna be hearing on our channel. And he makes these beautiful things. Ronnie, I flatter myself in saying that you, my friend, are a kindred spirit. This last item is one big deal. You're watching Nate unpack a TIG welding machine that showed up at his place from Fronius Welding. Oh my gosh. Now, TIG welding has always intrigued me. I've always known I should learn it, but there just was never apparently a time when it was pressing on me hard enough to spend the cash to do it. But that excuse is gone now because we have one in the shop. Let's go out and unload that out of the truck, bring it in, spread it out, and show you what it looks like it is that these people just sent to me. Well, as you can see, they sent me everything. I mean, everything, the foot pedal, the hood, the power source, the torch, the adapters, all of it. Everything except this bottle of gas, which we bought here earlier today, Argon, including a ground line with the best looking ground clamp I've ever seen, and a lead for the electrode, the rod holder, which is also equally sturdy. Very reassuring to me to see the quality of that ground clamp and the simplicity of that control panel. One knob, two buttons, I think I can probably learn how to utilize that. If you've been watching the channel, you know that Nate and I have made, I think maybe three videos about how to think about and how to approach and how to begin, in fact, welding. Primarily from the angle of learn stick welding first. Well, this machine would be perfect for doing a little video series about actual welding procedures and amperage settings and different projects that you could do, different types of rod and where to use them and welding in different positions, we could do that. Or, and this would be the thing I guess that I would prefer, if you would rather see me kind of bumble and stumble along learning to TIG weld with a big jump start from my friend Mike Smith, whom you've met once and you'll meet again, or if you would rather that we kind of rewind the tape and do a little series on different rods and amperage and positions and that sort of thing, welding with a stick machine, we can do that. Leave your preference in the comments, if you would, because we read those things and it'll be interesting to see what would be the highest value to you. Thank you again to those of you who have sent things to us in the mail, and not just today, but over the last three or four years, there have been amazing things of great significance show up here from you most of whom I have never met and may never meet. And so that continues. And now, I mean, a, just a, a top level tool and the, and the expressions of gratitude and all, all those things are more significant perhaps than you know. Because just like every other job, every other career, every other partnership, there are high points and low points. There are easy days and hard days. There are times when the mission and the vision and the accomplishment is clear and times when you wonder, now what was it again that I thought we were going to be doing here? But the encouragement and the validation that come in the really flattering comments and in the profound expressions of appreciation keep us going. And then every so often something really beautiful like these rings or these letters or the insights into your lives and the, the battles that you've fought and won and the things that you've learned from the battles that you've lost. All these things contribute and I'm grateful for them. And right now, as I sign off, I've just got to say once again, Fronius, I'm mighty thankful to have a tool like this in the arsenal and I intend to learn to use it. And I hope that all of you have something that you intend to learn. Thank you for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work. P.S. There's one more thing and I forgot to work it in and that is that Fronius has a promotion going and it involves getting a hood along with a welder. I don't know right now the details but we have the details in the notes. So if you're thinking about adding a top quality welder to your inventory Check it out. There may be an opportunity to kind of 
get ahead of the curve just a little bit.